Hey guys, I thought I would talk just for a minute about this whole concept of innocent attachments. And I don't mean when I say attachments, the things that you are consciously aware of, the things going through this adorable prefrontal cortex narrator that talks all day. There are beliefs and attachments you know you have. You can talk about them all day long. But these innocent attachments, the ones I'm talking about, the ones that we'll be looking at in this upcoming September course, are the ones that are subconscious, the ones that we carry in the fabric of our bodies that kind of rule our days and our, the way we show up in the world that we don't even know we have. It's so compelling to believe that things outside of us, circumstances, people, the way people are to us, and even thoughts that pass through our little minds, it, it looks like those are the things that give us our well-being, our peace, our joy, and our happiness. In which case it means those are the things that can take our peace and joy and happiness away from us. We so innocently, without knowing it, we're like fish in water. We tether our peace and our joy to things outside of us. And then when something like a conversation happens where someone questions, I don't know, your integrity or your competence or your relevance in the world. You have a strong visceral response. Your body kind of reacts and we say they triggered us or a circumstance arises that catches you off guard or a headline pops up and we say that triggered us, that stole my peace. And we feel it in our bodies as a visceral reaction. It's amazing when you can start to explore, to question what is it really? What are those visceral responses? And if circumstances and people outside of us can't steal our peace and our joy and our freedom, and they can't give it to us, if that is something innate within us, and it is not tethered, <laughs> like I picture sort of a, a dog on a leash, and then we've got the collar on and we hand the leash over to our health. We hand the leash over to a person, a marriage, a relationship, a bank account, and we say, you determine, am I good today? Am I bad? Am I happy? Am I down? Am I up? We so innocently, without even realizing it, we hand over the leash to the bank account, to the relationship, to what people think about us. Those are the kind of attachments I'm talking about. The ones that stir up those visceral responses, the ones that stir up those feelings of ick and tightness and contraction. And it's so innocent until we finally have someone that says, hey, let's take a peek. Let's see where the confusion is. And let's see where all that good stuff, the, the joy and the happiness, the peace and the freedom, let's see where they actually do come from. And let's stay there for a minute. I hope you'll join us. There are two spots left. If you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer them. Thanks, guys. Bye.